Well, hi everyone, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Florencia Guastavino. I'm from the Education and Human Rights um, program of Wikimedia Argentina. And uh, here we are with uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Bucio from Wiki, uh, Wikimedia Mexico. Jacqueline Bucio, no. Jacqueline Bucio from Wikimedia Mexico again. Y Hernán Pérez, Wikimedia Colombia. Okay, so we are going to present uh, this experience that is called 21st Century Skills in Action. And we, the, the main issue is that we collaborate with some chapters on the Latin American and Caribbean region. Uh, here is a summary of the experience. It started in November 2021 with an online course that was called 21st Century Skill in Action, Digital Citizens, Citizens well, I'm not going to say it, okay? <laughs> and Wikimedia Projects. Um, this, uh, this project was founded by the IDB Bank and by Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, we had uh, 216 Latin American participants that started the course and uh, 74 that ended successfully. And it was the same for youth, uh, young people between 18 and 35 years as to uh, learn about digital uh, citizenship. Uh, as you say, the strength was to, to strengthen digital literacy, to reduce content and learning gaps. And afterwards, the 74 people that ended the course presented a project and 10 of them were selected to make an internship program in some of the Latin American chapters and also in the Wikimedia Foundation. So uh, today we are going to tell you about the experience of how were the internships in each of our uh, chapters. So with Wikimedia Mexico, we have the pleasure of working with Esther Bravo, and uh, she's passionate about information. She was doing this uh, postgraduate PhD in information science, so it fit perfectly. And she developed these uh, abilities w working with the education team in Wikimedia Mexico. She was assigned uh, to work with Alejandro Reyes, or Alex, as we call him. Uh, and we had the pleasure of working with her. She was really involved in uh, three main uh, events or activities. Uh, first, the organization of One Rea, One Ref. She was working with logistics, uh, making the minutes, uh, coordinating these events along with Alex, and also in uh, the organization of this third education local gathering. She was involved in uh, coordinating also these activities. And also she participated in some uh, audio seminars. We have this activity for uh, talking about articles uh, related to Wikipedia education projects. We got, uh, get together in a in an app called Clubhouse and just uh, get rid of the camera and just uh, walk in audio about these articles. So she was also involved in these, uh, in these seminars. Um, first, the, the achievements are this, but uh, the challenge is the learning curve. Uh, three months is really a short time, short period of time to get involved into the philosophy of the movement. They really go deep into the uh, collaboration within the uh, Wikimedia activities. And the time was short, the enthusiasm was a lot, but it's a heavy learning curve, curve as I think uh, my colleagues are going to say also. <clears throat> Okay, so for the Colombian experience, I chose to bring the words of the intern we had in Colombia. So what I'm going to do is read some of the reflections this person had after the experience. So I wanted to start with this phrase that uh, he brought. It was, uh, Wikip Wikipedia could translate uh, the research into a common language, the knowledge of the traditional knowledge and social movement and make them transcend. This, for me, showed a lot about what this experience meant for this person. Um, Andres Barragan, he is 23 years old, uh, uh, professional in international marketing, and he thought that being part of Wikimedia Colombia was a, a, a fact to dignify the power of knowledge and the recognition of uh, human rights and environmental rights. 
So this is a second phrase you brought. It was, uh, Wikipedia gives me power to incise in the recollection of environmental problematics. And for me, this is very interesting because it shows the empowerment uh, approach, you know, the, this skill development of the formation uh, got installed in his uh, now tools to approach his professional life. And um, so the achievements uh, of, the, of this experience, I chose this, this uh, phrase of him, like he went from a Facebook post, he first saw this formation on a, on a Facebook post, and then he got an internship, and then he like, applied this to his professional and personal project. So this shows how this trajectory of learning could uh, start with just a simple uh, Facebook post, but with like a very deep, uh, significant uh, formation experience. And a challenge in, in his words were uh, that those who live the struggles of life become the voice that adds content to the Wikipedia. And I, I really felt uh, uh, empathized with, with this phrase because this is the approach that the Wikimedia Colombia wants to give to the education program, uh, to give voice to these uh, traditionally excluded communities around the, the country. So um, this intern saw the same challenge we're seeing uh, now. So for us, this is a very interesting experience as well. Well, then we, as you all know, Olga couldn't come to the conference, but she was going to participate. And some other countries that also participated in the experience were Chile, Uruguay, um, and I think that an internship in the Wikimedia Foundation and some other country I, I can't remember right now, but there were participants from uh, Central America and from all over Latin America. And this is the internship uh, of, of Bolivia, that is Karen Rodriguez Barradas, and she worked, uh, if, I, if, if we know well, in the Reading Wikipedia, in the classroom projects and some other projects because she was uh, training as a teacher also. And then in, in Wikimedia Argentina, we had two interns one was Fabian Mamani, that he lives in Jujuy, in the north of the country. He's a librarian and a poet, and he works in popular libraries. Uh, he did his internship in Wikimedia Argentina Culture and, and Open Knowledge Program, and he worked in two activities, a survey for popular libraries, and then the design of a specific course that is running right now, and they have like more, more than 200 librarians uh, participating on the course right now. I don't know if you know what is a popular library, but it's like a library of a town or a small library that is made by the people. So it's really interesting the work that, that he did. And Fabian continue working with us now as a, as a volunteer, but in some really main projects. And then we work with Laura, uh, that she was an informatics system engineer, and she worked with the Education and Human Rights Program in two uh, aspects, the development of Wikipuentes, that is our main virtual course, and also some communication of contents of uh, Wikipedia. So with the achievements, um, we think that it's really, it was really interesting for us to share the ways we work. We had a lot, uh, as, as Shaki said, there's a lot of uh, learning with the, with the interns. And one of the learnings is to explain how we work inside the chapter. That maybe is different uh, through all the chapters uh, all over the world. So that is really interesting, not only for the intern, but also for us as to show how do we work and maybe what do we have to uh, um, learn or do in another ways through the, the, the thoughts and of the intern. Uh, so that was really interesting for us and with a, a challenge uh, we had, we, we thought in the education program that Laura would work all along uh, Wikipuentes and in that Wikipuentes we had not a lot of participants so her work wasn't really depth in that, in that case so we have in the middle of the internship to change her, her work so she started working in communications and uh, in our case, the, uh, the internship in, in every case was from April to June, but we, she added in, in a, an activity that had already started. So it's not so easy to add an intern in the middle of a work process. So one thing that we think is interesting to think is if you want to add interns or if you are thinking for interns to your chapters, it's, it's really um, good to think when you make your annual project or your biannual project to have that in mind because it's not so easy to 
adapt a person uh, on a work that is already in progress. And as an overall, and, and we had like uh, some meetings during the, the internship, uh, they were like three or five where we, all, all the people that was um, a company, an intern, we gather and we talk about what, what are the challenges and what are the good things about the internship. We think that it's a really, op a really nice opportunity to strengthen the capacity of each of the, of the chapters. Both of the participants that they learn a lot and for their work, it was really interesting because then they can put it in their curriculum and say, I work in a huge institution like Wikimedia Foundation or Wikimedia, uh, any chapter. And also for us, that because we receive a, a, a really um, trained person to do a lot of things that maybe we're, we weren't able to do before. And then it's also enhanced the coordination between the chapters. We are really used to work together, but it was a really nice experience because there were like eight or nine chapters working together all along this month. So it's, it's really good for a region to make an internship, but not may, may, maybe not one chapter, but a group of chapters because we learn a lot in the coordinated work between us. So, well, if you have any questions, I know we have some time. Um, that's all. Um, okay. <laughs> um, thank you. So, questions? Uh, uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> thank you, guys, for your presentation. Uh, it was interesting. Could you please elaborate more how the selection process of interns uh, were carried out, like based on which criteria you selected interns, and uh, how exactly like interns can contribute to the chapter development? Maybe I lost some information, so if it's not difficult, please. The, um, the process of selection was after the virtual course. They all participate in a virtual course, and at the end of the virtual course, they had to make a, a final activity, a written final activity that was a project. So they have to investigate uh, some of the chapters and say, well, for this chapter, I would like to make this project. And then in the reading of the projects and also in the, the virtual course, there were tutors that were following them so they know who, who was who. And so that was part of the selection process. Uh, and they, they select the people that were most um, near what the chapter was doing so that it was uh, easy to, to adapt. And I didn't get the second question, sorry. My second question was how exactly like the interns contributed to your chapter development, like what was the predefined goals and uh, do they achieve like exactly what they're planning in the starting of the internship, their internship basically? Okay, I think that depends on each intern. Uh, in, in our case, um, Fabian, that was the one who worked with libraries, he uh, is already a, a Wikimedian. So maybe he could achieve a lot more of the goals, for example, design the virtual course. In the case of Laura, that was the, the, the other person, she was really new to the movement. So her achievements were more about learning how we work and learning what is education. And as she was an engineering, a system engineering, uh, she it was really out of the education world. So it was really an achievement for her to learn about that. But maybe she couldn't make a product as Fabian did because it was like different uh, where, we, where they come from. Um, I don't know if you want to tell. Yeah, probably a good advice would be to uh, harmonize their internship with the uh, campaigns, for example, Wiki for Human Rights. That will be a, a good place to start to involve in, in like an activity that's already running. So I, I would say that every chapter has like a focus on on, on the context, so just to involve them in, in these uh, campaigns could be like a good mm -hmm. starting point. And one small question in addition, are they planning to like continue work with the chapters? Uh, I, I think that that depends on each person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of them did and some other not. The, the internship was paid, so every, 
for, for each month they receive a payment, so that, that it was like a work. Uh, but then afterwards, it wasn't, uh, not, not everyone continue working or vinculated with the chapter. Thank you. Uh, for, for, for the Colombian experience, I'm sorry, I need to read the, the movement. Uh, Andres invited Colombia because now he's a mentor within a, a movement uh, which I'm going to tell the name, I'm sorry, I don't know it. Uh, and uh, he offered a place for Wikimedia Colombia to uh, share the experience uh, within the Protect Our Planet movement. So you know, the relation like uh, went on and now he offers spaces for the Wikimedia Colombia to show uh, the work that can be done with, with, within the uh, Wikimedia ecosystem. Do we have questions? No? Okay.